Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. The rain moved in in the afternoon and is likely going to continue at least on and off through much of the day tomorrow. And that means if you're heading out, you want to turn on your headlights. It helps others see you. Generally, if you need your windshield wipers, the visibility is low enough that you need your headlights too. Low beams specifically is what you should use. It's easy to forget too, and the reason for that is, well, you don't notice it while driving. It helps others see you, but it really doesn't improve what you see. So it's easy to forget, and of course, with most cars in the last uh, probably 10 to 15 years now having automatic lights, it's even easier to forget because it's not a decision you even make at night to turn them on, but you got to override that automatic setting heading out into the rain. We will have those rain chances continuing through much of the day. Fairly steady. It could be some breaks, but it's likely that we need rain, uh, windshield wipers in the rain through the middle of the afternoon before it starts to scatter out into the evening. So here's future cast. Notice that even overnight, it's not widespread the whole time, but more rounds continue to move through into tomorrow morning as it rotates around the low pressure system. On the back side, drier gets pulled in, but also colder air, which turns the snow off to the north. We could get into a little bit of that near north of Highway 8 later tomorrow before it comes to an end. A few hit or miss flakes or drops overnight before the next system pushes in from the south. Now there's some indication that this completely misses us to the south. The other issue is at four o'clock on Thursday afternoon, temperatures are going to be fairly warm. It's going to be hard to produce snow like Futurecast is predicting, but it is a possibility that we're watching closely. Again, this whole system could miss us to the south too. So lots of different options here. That's something we'll be tracking over the next couple of days. The low tonight is 46, which is pretty warm for lows. Breezy through the night out of the east northeast in light to moderate rain rates. We will see the rain continue. It'll be more scattered tomorrow, but it's going to really start to scatter even further in the afternoon as the day goes on. Breaks get longer as the whole system kind of disintegrates as it moves east. Winds shift to the north as the system passes too. Still a little breezy at times, uh, but still uh, generally mild temperature wise. Highs do go down a bit Thursday into Friday. Highs in the upper 40s, lows down near or below freezing. That does mean any precip kind of in the overnight to morning hours could be a wintry mix, a slight chance on Thursday. Again, there's a pretty good chance that we also stay dry. Friday definitely looks dry. And we warm up slightly into the weekend. Another chance for rain on Saturday brings warmer air Sunday and Monday. And there'll be a couple more spring shower chances next week.